guess I'll put the radio on. Hey, come in. I want you to converse with me. I also know sign language. I have a complimentary sandwich. Just bring that back. I like to call out street names. I still keep the antennae under my wing. Yeah, Brace. I do, Pips. You can read with your nose, too. There's two radio seasides. Turn the bloody radio down. I'm trying to watch telly. Seaside natives Bob and Betty Boyle are collectors of rare and exotic ailments. For Bob, it began with a hilarious extra nipple, and for Betty, it was an amusing rash in her teens. Together, they've amassed a range of exciting conditions to entertain their friends, usually with slides. Here's Betty in Panama with a lucky case of Cyrus virus. It was very entertaining, actually. Oh. The pair met in the emergency room of Seaside General where they were hoping to contract something nasty, but instead fell in love, Betty with Bob's shingles and Bob with Betty's lazy eye. They were married later that day in the crematorium. Oh, I love you. Me too. For their first wedding anniversary, Bob gave Beryl a rash and Beryl gave Bob insecurity. Now for their one and a half anniversary, they've decided to do something special. Look, Betty, there's a new restaurant opening in six months. Oh, food to die for. Looks fancy. You better book now. Hello, sir. Help you with anything? I'd like to make a reservation for Saturday night, please. Uh, We're a clothing store. Only for another six months, then you'll be a restaurant. You wouldn't rather wait? If I wait, do you really think I'll get in on a Saturday night in these shoes? Haven't you got any better shoes? What for? These still work. Right. Table for two, was it? Yes, please. To raise money for their big night, Bob and Betty sell all their possessions, get jobs in advertising, and then wait until the big night arrives. Oh, food to die for, said Bob. I'd settle for a bowl of chips and a sore leg, quipped Betty, and they both laughed. Ha ha ha, as they strode into the restaurant. Good evening, sir. Madam, welcome to Jim's. Do we have a reservation? A boil? Ah, yes, you booked six months ago when we were a clothing shop. Very wise, otherwise you'd have never gotten in. Not in those shoes. Is it true you have food to die for? It depends on what Madam orders. Most people actually recover. Here is your table. Do you think we could sit over there? No. Drinks? What do you recommend? Do you have your bank statement? I brought it, yes. Ah, and is this your only account? Yes. Did you sell your possessions? Yes. Right, well, I recommend water. Uh, Entrees? Can we afford it? We can arrange finance. Okay, I'd like the arancini balls. Yes, but you'll get the garlic bread. Is that to die for? It comes with a rash and a queasy belly. Oh, that's lovely. And your wife will have... Uh, Oysters Kilpatrick? The herb bread. To die for? No, just a bit of reflux and some bloating. For mains? I'd like to sand crab lasagna. Yes, but you're going to get the potato bake. And what does that come with? Chest pains, I believe, and a sore back. And your wife will have... Something light? A mild headache? Or a hot flush? Oh, the hot flush, please. One cost salad? Will there be anything else? Uh, what's on the cheese platter? Well, I'll have to check with Chef, but I believe today it's stomach cramps and mild nausea. Very mild? Quite mild. Uh, perhaps the antipasta then. Right, one runny bottom. And dessert? Oh, just a punch in the face, please. Certainly, sir. Kathy's Sweet Sweets at the Northern Industrial Estates open for business. Lemon Twizzlers, meringue pops, candy cigarettes and cigars, banana milk jars, pop fizz in blue and grape flavour, and everyone's favourite, rock candy mousse. That's Kathy Sweets Sweets. <laughs> When residents of the forgotten coastal hamlet of Seaside were asked to nominate their favourite local art projects, it's little wonder Sue and the Sea Cow didn't make the cut, because nobody knew about it. Due to strict anti-tall poppy laws, this local comedy mystery folk adventure drama has to be smuggled out each week by Seagull. In the last episode of Sue and the Sea Cow, we learnt the power of accessorising. and that nets are still the go-to device for the modern villain. They fired a giant net at us! We do! This week we find Walter sneaking into the general manager's office. I just want to wash my face! And we find out what to do with a stinky lawyer. Get some lemon scrub and spray it all over Walter and anywhere he's been. Sue and the Seagull, the only radio play mentioned in this last sentence. Look for the Seagull with the briefcase. She got me there. Went to no harm, I swear. Then she took a shot there. And she got me there. It don't really seem fair. I heard it go down there. Were my decisions. It's her decision. 
Hello, this is Krusty Bob on Seaside Community Radio, getting you home this afternoon. And if I could just have one minute of your time. Sorry, folks, for those of you still with us. Bruce chose to dampen your senses with the little snips. Mum, why did you cut me there? Gee, that's a bit uh, controversial, isn't it, Bruce? Finally, on Bruce's eclectic but bleak playlist was Holly Hammond and the reproductive organs with My Mother Hates Me. Another controversial little number, that one. you got to get over this thing with your mum, Bruce, mate. <laughs> You're listening to Seaside Radio, the sometimes home to the primetime voice of the full-time celebrity DJ Ronnie Keith, who took the time to call us just last week. Accidentally, still takes time. And with any luck, we'll be home again to the voice of the body of the man they call Mr. Microphone. Oh, look, a play button. Hey, I was talking. Well, not really, were you? Sort of more having a George Michael. What? Giving the keynote address at Club Sycophant? Shut up, Marvin. Talking is where you put words together in meaningful ways. Shut up, Marvin. And what have you got against Ron? He's got a stupid voice. So have you. I've got your voice. What do you mean? Well, you do my voice. Meaning what exactly? Meaning you've just been talking to yourself this whole time. What? Why would I do that? Well, I presume it's because you're deranged or maybe lonely. Who can tell? But you're doing it right now. You're the one that's deranged, mate. I can see you sitting right in front of me. Oh, yeah? Describe what I look like. Medium height, kind of stupid looking, sunglasses. Right, now take the glasses off and describe me. What? You're looking in a mirror. You put it opposite in a chair, and every time I talk, you put on the sunglasses. I don't. I'm afraid you do. You're real. I'm afraid I'm not. You are. I'm not. You are. I'm not. You are. Oh, you're not. Bummer. And now it's Eileen's Cat Kennery's song of the day. Kill all the horses. Ah, oh, come on, Bruce, this has to be the last one, mate. I've come from the future. To sing you this warning song. In 2035, it all, it all seemed to go so, so very wrong. All the cars they had rusted, and we could not drive, so we all switched to horses, so we all could survive.
But the horses started revolting And then they started to fight And we were all trapped in our houses We could not go outside Just like my wife and son Who unfortunately were trampled alive Kill all the horses Kill all the horses Kill all the horses Kill all the horses Come with us now to Seaside, where Sue and the ex-school bully, alone in a tinny in the middle of the bay, are desperately trying to fight off the hideous mutant sea cow monster. Help me, Sue! This octopus cow has me in its tentacles! Get off her! Oh, yeah. What is that frog coming out of its mouth? of Sue and the Sea Cow, where not even the writers know what's going to happen next. Seaside Radio is produced by Alex Oliver and Chris Holland. And Liz, you have literally forgotten how to speak. Oh, Matt, your friend that I can't see. Ahem, Kof, excuse me. You sound like a vending machine. Thank you. Romeo, oh Romeo, what is your immediate location? <laughs> yep, my bleeping mouth hurts. Ow. The loss of a loved one can be a traumatic experience. Believe you, I hate you. Is your mother an alcoholic? Is your dad in the model train club? Hey, hey, what are you doing? I was listening to this. 